Okay, let's put this away for now. Oh. How, how did he get up there? I swear he was down here like two seconds. Oh my god, I'm dying! Oh, I forgot. That guy's got a Gatling gun. Whoopsies. <laughs> ah, I pause for a short break and I get killed right away. Damn, I'm good at games. So good at games. Oh yeah! Ah. That was an accident, by the way. I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I could have. It would have been hilarious. But it wasn't intentional. <clears throat> I'm sorry. It wasn't. Though, it was really stupid. <laughs> Can't believe I didn't realize that that guy was there. Oh, well. Yeah. Them sound effects are tripping me up because... Left speaker, this headset is really weird. It's really bothersome, actually. Yeah, probably has something to do with the 3D sound stuff, too. Uh, stereo would be nice, or maybe mono. That way, everything is the same between both my ears. I don't need to hear exactly where they're coming from when they're... I don't know. It's usually set up really badly, which is why I usually would just listen with mono. Because, apparently, if something's to your right, you're incapable of hearing it with your left ear. According to the way they set up the speaker stuff and whatnot. Which I could, in fact, hear with my left ear. Just maybe a little bit quieter? No? It'd probably be fine. I don't know. Just my quip about 3D sound and stereo and whatnot. Come on. This game really needs some friendly fire. I mean, sure, the AI isn't programmed to compensate or whatever for that, but I really feel that it should be a thing. That would, uh, allow people who like evading a lot gain some advantage from that. As you dodge out of the way, the dumb idiot you just dodged smacked his own ally in the face because he's stupid. They are, they are kind of crazy. They, they kind of lost their mind type of enemies that you fight, so I find it very fitting if that were actually the case. And I am going to have to get my souls back. I had enough to level up almost. I'm not I'm not abandoning that. I could, but that'd be dumb. Coming through everyone. Okay. Whee! I also feel that this game doesn't really have as much exploration going for it. Like, this here is the only thing I can remember where you actually have to jump around, which is probably the only reason I ever missed this area. And I also don't think the guide I was reading even mentioned it. Oh no, please, please! Uh, how am I dying to these guys? I must suck really bad. Okay then. Almost I had that the wrong song playing at the start for my playlist. Uh, I think it's the right song. I don't know. Doesn't really matter, does it? Hey, you missed, dumbass. Okay, that's way too slow. Can't utilize that. Stamina is low. Yada yada yada. There we go. I thought I had him. There's more. Ah, yes, this weapon is slightly slower than the Blades of Mercy. It's tripping me up quite a bit, actually. Oh well, it's not its not like I died. And I have plenty of blood vials in storage, so it's not a big deal. It's also something I would complain about, the fact that when you open your inventory, you don't see the, the blood vials and bullets up there, like you would if uh, uh, you were in your thing. Oh, to cinders. Okay. If you were in your box, you'd see it. And, oh, someone absorbed my echoes, didn't they? Hello? Is it... Is it you? Uh, oh well. Time to get out. Whee! OK. 
Okay, this doesn't appear to be the right way to go. Ha! <laughs> you can't get me, I'm awesome. At dodging, apparently. Anyway, we go up here. <clears throat> Your friend over there might follow us up. He might not. I think he just tried to get up the ladder and he glitched a mile away. I don't know. He's pretty stupid, so he should be good. If you wanted to kill the guy, you could go up there. I'm not going to do it. As I said, I want to befriend him because I'm a nice guy. <coughs> Look at all that white over there. Some random lighting shenanigans going on all over the place. Because if you're outside, it's dark as crap. Even though when you were up top, it wasn't... I, I don't know. So, this here, I never noticed, but it's holding up that, which apparently starts a fire when it falls. Don't ask me how that works. There. But, as this is New Game Plus, it... Okay, it killed stuff. I didn't actually expect that. Okay. Um, if you remember Dark Souls, you might recognize this sort of walkway shenanigans. And, as you'd expect, it's still pretty badly set up. You can die trying to get back. Which kind of sucks. <clears throat> do I... No, I'll do that after I clear everything so I don't die stupidly. Here's probably the best way to go up, rather than the way you came from. Because you're less likely to fall off and die, basically. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. This is the way you'd normally come in. It's not a big deal. Anyone would probably know this. I'll I'll act like you're dumb and you've never played this before. This random tower like thing that's a shortcut. I I don't know how much the 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 level designers know about architecture, but even I, who don't really know a whole lot, can state that the architecture of this game is pretty messed up. It's pretty weird. But that doesn't matter, right? As long as the game is fun, who cares about the architecture? I mean, it looks nice. Outwardly. A lot of stuff is probably hollow or something anyway. You know. Why why fill in something that's not gonna be used, right? Ah. Scream all you want. You're already dead. Ah, this is where I usually hold out for when the small fries come in here, but I should be fine to go in there and chop them to bits. Usually I'd use the hatchet, which is what I would pick for the first few times. Actually, that's not true. The first time I actually picked the saw, and I guess all the small, small little guys died. Most of them. There's probably one still left. But yeah, if you do that, you'll kill them, and they'd, they'd usually be the ones that come up and charge you right over there where I was. Damn it, audio, what's, what the heck? I, I still don't know what's causing that. It might be the headset, because uh, the other one I was using, which is the exact same as this one, by the way, wasn't acting up when I was doing recording stuff, so <laughs> I don't know. And I actually paid for this one. He kind of won that one, so some disappointment going on there. But, yeah. Let's see here. You survived? Cool. I don't know why you didn't help your friends when I was murdering them. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, man. Ritual blood? Yeah, it's for the first chalice you're gonna get. I believe you might be able to buy it after you get it. Or maybe you have to get something else. You can buy the level 1 stuff, because otherwise, where else can you get it, right? Almost all the other ones you can get inside the chalices, which makes getting it annoying, but... Yeah. Ah! Come on! Give me the rock! It's good. Come on, man. Stop taunting. <laughs> ah, yes. The shortcut I was talking about. We're already here. It, it didn't feel like I went very far, but I'd say I'm about halfway through Old Jordan by now. It's not its not the longest area. Not very long at all. But then again, <clears throat> now that I'm thinking about Dark Souls, some of the areas aren't particularly long in that. Like, uh, when you enter the undead, what is it, the parish? And you get to the Minotaur. That's, that's about... Half the length is this, maybe? 
But you have to do a lot more of blocking and whatnot. And there is a lot more of exploring to do besides like, oh, there's a side turn here. Which way, or this, or there's a split actually. Which way should I go? One of them leads to a dead end with like one poopy item and the other one leads to where you have to go. That's, that's pretty much how this game is set up. I don't know if they intended to do that or not, but it kind of seems silly. And there's a lot of doors that look like they should be openable, but they're not. They couldn't just, like, I don't know, have a little door with <clears throat> that you enter and maybe there's someone there who sells stuff. Because the only people who sell stuff are the merchant and the messengers. Uh, merchant. Merchant. Messenger merchant. Yeah, those, those little white weird thingies. In the dream and uh, in the chalices. Apparently, it's supposed to be replaced with the patches of the spider, but I never got that to happen. <laughs> but yeah, it'd kind of be cool if you could just go inside a house and actually see people, because most of the time you just talk to them at the Red Lantern, and you know, as you progress, they slowly go insane. It's it's not um oh, man, two of them. It's not very meaningful going to talk to them, but is kind of interesting. I mean, some of them do say some background type stuff, but obviously I kind of miss that most of the time. It isn't all that important, I guess. Unless you really, really need to know how to do something. Like the the wall clinger dudes who grab you. The, the big amygdala guys. Still starting to wonder if I'm pronouncing that wrong, probably. <clears throat> how much time? I guess so. I'll, I'll kill this guy who magically appears. I would say this is spooky, but I think it'd be spookier if, you know, you could see him, like, clinging to the wall or... Okay, never mind. He actually is clinging to the wall. I didn't notice that the last time, but apparently he is. Because when you go over here, and he's magically down. You don't hear anything. You, I don't think there's any animation. He just kind of moves. There might be an animation. You might just have to be in the right place to see it, but... Now he's gone! <laughs> That's the only one of those that I'm aware of that clings to a wall. Which is kind of cool, I guess, but... <laughs> you know. <clears throat> and then there's this guy. <laughs> he's spoopy. He's gonna... Boom! Just... Yeah. Honestly, that didn't look the greatest, but it's still kind of cool. Yep. This leads to another shortcut. <laughs> we didn't just get one or anything. And I should have enough time to get to it. Plenty of time. <clears throat> ah, pardon me. Gonna have to clean up all these gemstones later. I'll probably forget though, so whatever. Well then, two minutes left then, I guess. I'll uh, quickly deal with this guy, open the door, head back down the stairs, and... Uh, we should be able to beat the boss in the next part, after getting through there, those guys. This is a shortcut, it's a door. Yeah, if you remember me jumping down at the start of the area leads to that. There's a ladder here that leads back to the start. Which obviously you can't actually get back to, but... And there's an item here apparently. And fire paper. I'm probably not gonna use, like, papers or magic. I mean, I have it on me, it's equipped, but... I probably won't feel the need to use it, because I am quite overpowered. So anyway, we'll end it right over here. Yeah. Bye.